In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use some of the out-of-the-box APIs that come with Node.js. And the use case that we're going to tackle is to accept user input. We want to accept the user's name as an input prompt, and then whatever the user types, we're going to greet that user, right? So if you say name as I enter in my name Kaushik, it's going to say, hello Kaushik, but it's going to be an input, right? We're going to pause for user input and allow the user to type it. The way to do this is by leveraging an API that comes with Node.js. So as in the process, we will learn how to look up that API and then to actually use it. And uh, spoiler alert, we are gonna be using the require function pretty much like what we did here, but then we're gonna be applying it to an API and you learn what the difference is in this case. All right, so how do I access the Node.js API to look up the user input? Right. The best way to look up Node.js APIs is by going to the official website for the APIs. Right. So the URL is nodejsorg slash API. Right. So index.html, of course. Now I'm at the index, which contains all the categories for APIs. And uh, I'm going to actually look up this thing called read. And uh, you see there's this read line here. Right. Don't worry too much if you're not familiar with the Node.js APIs. That comes with usage and experience. But the way to gather usage and experience is by searching all over the place for the API that you need, which is what I did when I was learning Node.js. But over time, you will gather the bits and pieces of the APIs that you, you need to do. And uh, in this particular case, for waiting for user input and accepting user input, the API is read line. Okay, so the read line module provides an interface for reading data from a readable stream, such as process.standardin, one line at a time. Standard input seems like what we want to do. We want to wait for user input. Now notice this line over here. It says require of read line. Okay, this is our familiar require, which is what we did over here. But instead of providing a file specified uh, with this prefix of a relative path, this is just a name, require of read line, okay? This is how you accept user input, okay? So I'm just gonna copy this over here, and I'm going to require, uh, let me actually create a new file called greet.js, and I'm gonna require this over here, okay? Now, so here's the sample, usage example, all right? So I'm gonna copy this piece of code here and I'm gonna paste this over here. Now let's examine this. Read line is the object that you get from doing a require and this is a reference to the API that comes with nodes. So in order to use this read line API, you first need to call this create interface method which needs you to provide the input and the output. The input here is process.stdin, and the output is process.stdout. This is how you have to use that API, all right? I just picked it up from the documentation. Okay, we do this. And then there is apparently this thing that comes up, which is the create interface. I'm assuming this is the interface object that comes up. And then on this interface object, I can actually do a dot question, and I provide a, a question. And then it accepts a callback, which is what the response is, right? It's basically whatever the user has entered as a response, it's going to call this callback with that answer, okay? So let me, let me illustrate what this looks like. I'm going to say, um, what is your name? And then here is the callback function, right? So this is the API. Now what does this callback function look like? The callback function is basically a function which accepts an argument. The argument is what the user will enter, right? And then here, let me actually get rid of all this thing and then say, hello, and then this is name. Okay, and apparently 
we need to close this interface because we are done, right? We want the program to end. So we're gonna close the interface and say we are truly done. Okay, so this is the API to accept user input. Okay, now let me run node greed.js. Look at that, I get a prompt Say, what's your name? I enter my name and then I get a greeting, all right? What, you want, what I want you to take away from this tutorial is not really the specifics of this read line API. I want you to look at this first line, which is why I am teaching you this. This is basically using the require function that we have seen earlier, but not to require another file in the path. It is to require a module that comes as an API in Node.js. So even if you have a single file, in your application, you can do a require of read line because it's a part of the Node.js platform. Now, once you get this, once you get the API, it's up to you to look up what the usage of that API is and just follow that usage, right? You just say, okay, the documentation says you gotta use this. You just use this and then it works, right? Now, the next step is to actually dig into why it works and then what are the other usages of the API and all that. So that's the natural progression of how you learn APIs in Node.js. But for now, just focus on this one line. This is how you require something which you haven't written. In this case, this is a part of the Node.js API. And you can look at this page for a bunch of APIs that come with Node.js, okay? So you have our APIs for accessing the file system, accessing operating system related stuff. There's a whole lot here, all right? Uh, but this is one quick example. Now I wanna leave this tutorial with an exercise for you if you're following this at home. I want you to look up the API for writing something to a file, okay? And I want you to write the string hello world to a file and save it to the file system. Again, the process is the same. You're gonna to go to that URL. The URL is nodejs.org slash API and look around to see if you can find the file system API, and then figure out what's the API to write to a file. And then use that, use the require to get that API access, and then write something to the file, right? So give this a shot, and I will show you how to actually do this as a solution. It's a very simple thing, but I'll show you the solution in the next tutorial. So see you then.